What's up, guys? It's Blooming Guy, and welcome to the Trouble Center side quest segment of from my Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Let's Play. Now, I will be deviating from the previous episodes in order to solve all the trouble quests. There are things I find that really helpful, and if you plan on playing this game, you should really attempt to do them. They're really they pay you. It's good stuff. Hey, this is your first time to the Trouble Center. Plan on using your, our services. I can explain them to you first. Need an explanation? If you say no, he'll just say get out. So yeah, I think I need an explanation. Then listen and listen good. This trouble center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try and help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward. Probably not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve the trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Alright, so our first trouble would be Garf. What kind of name is Garf? Alright, need a key. They call me Garf. I have lost my key and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Want to take on Garf's trouble? Sure. Do it and do it right. That's what they always tell you. Do it and do it right. So, he's all the way over here. This is Garf right here. You took on my trouble? You? Okay. Then please find my key and be quick about it. If someone else finds my key, they'll be able to get in my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to that badge shop, but I'm not sure. Easily enough, it, it's on top of the badge place, so... No trouble here. Ironically. Easy. Easy little side quest. If you know what you're doing. Uh, eventually, as the story progresses, the trouble quest will definitely get harder more difficult. You're going to have to search all around the the place. And, um, yeah. But luckily, for me, I know most of these trouble quests, and I know how to solve them with quick succession. Here's the house key. The key to the house. Whoever lost it likely needs it back. Yeah. We'll be alright. Luckily, since we're getting paid for this, I think I might have, well, you know, that investment we made earlier, in my earlier Let's Play, won't be so bad. It'll probably pay off. Probably. Okay. So, did you did you find my key? Um, alternatively, you could just open the house key and then he'll be like, Oh, wait, you, you found the key. Yeah, here's your key, buddy. Yes, my key. I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home. Thank you. Please take this as payment for your efforts, all right? 20 coins. Either way, he'll give you 20 coins. It's only like a different reaction. You solved the trouble. But it was kind of funny the first time I did. I just opened it. It's like, you mean like this? Some guard he was. Alright. McGoomba. Safe delivery. This is McGoomba, and I have a simple task. I need some I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza. You wanna take on McGoomba's trouble? Yeah. Do it and do it right. Well, judging by the fact that you can't be seen walking around, how did you go to that house and, you know, write that down and tell the cops where your location is and this is basically a drug deal okay that's fine hopefully I get paid nicely for this because it's a drug deal all right no you're not a goomba it's over here you never know who'll be watching so let's do this thing quick take this package to goomba you'll find him in front of Frankly's place try not to be seen I got a box what is in here? Drugs? Pornographic magazines? I don't know. I don't know what's in this box. I can't open the box. Alright, I think... You, you, you the guy? He got caught. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell me Goomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Megumba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to Megumba. Which is a good thing, because, you know, it's like, okay. And there a couple maybe more difficult RPGs, they'd probably be like, yeah, thanks for the package. So then you'd be like, okay, the trouble isn't solved yet, though. You'd have to talk to him in order to finish it. Did you deliver it? Phew, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck, you get something good. 20 coins. Not bad. 
We're getting back our money from before. And we're solving them pretty quickly. You don't really have to do all the side quests, you know, right at this second. You could wait till the end of the game, but I prefer to do it when they give you all the side quests. And they usually pop up every time you get another crystal star. So, something to do. Arfur, price adjustment. This is Arfur. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into the competitor's shop, I need some research. I mean, you could, but whatever. I need the price of fire flowers, sheepy, sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics in Rogueport. I'll meet you in front of the build in this building to make the exchange. Yeah, um, you don't even have to go inside the shop. I'm literally just going to talk to this guy like I did it. Yeah, I checked the prices. First, how much are fire flowers? Fire flowers are, it's always the middle prices, 10 coins. I see. And sleepy sheep? Sleepy sheep is 8 coins. Okay. And tasty, ton tasty tonics are pretty cheap, they're 3 coins. Hmm. Wow, that's rough. Those are some, some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm. Even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it's certainly helpful information. Here's a reward. Good work. Now, I don't know if that reward changes. Because you could just tell them outrageous prices. I don't know. Alright, Goomther. Find this guy. Hey, 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 hey. My name's Goomther. Please find this guy that pulled off credit card fraud on me. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza, so some come talk to me. Yeah, I'll take you on. Do it and do it right. This is gonna be f this is gonna be a little fun. <sighs> and uh, another thing, we're getting paid. That's that's more of a reason to do um the trouble. Just you just getting money and it's easy. It's like little tasks here and there. I think this is the guy, right? Nope, not this guy. He said it's it's probably this guy. Oh yeah, here he goes. Larson the Bandit pulled some credit card fraud on me and took my dough. I want you to rough him up. I want you to rough him up for it, but the guy's too wise. I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere here in Rogueport, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits who wear masks. There's several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this and you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. Alright, so remember that guy before? That was like, oops, pardon me, sucker, and then I had to find him? That's not the guy. This is the guy. You got a problem? What are you looking at? Unless you got business with me, scram. What? You want me to return the money I swindled? What are you, the fraud police? Sheesh, how did I let myself get caught? He'll leave. And then he'll be, I think, behind... He'll be in three places. He'll be behind the place here. If this game was, you know, a little more convoluted, they'd probably put it, like, somewhere else. I think he's behind here. If not... No, no, no. No, 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 I was wrong, I was wrong. I was wrong, sorry, my bad. He's out. He's out there, I think. In like um, out here in like the first area, and then he'll meet you back there. Yep. Cripes, the fraud police! You don't give up easily, do you? You can't make me pay. And then that guy's very concerned. That guy, that is a badass-looking bomb with the little skull bones and stuff. That's cool. Alright. He's like... I think he's back there, right? Yeah, he's back there. This is the last place. Cripes the frog, please. <laughs> Shoot, you're serious. <laughs> Fine, I'm a man. Do with me as you will. Hey, 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 hey. Looks like you caught him. Nice. Here's your reward. 20 coins. Okay, that's nice. So, since you look like you're all at dough, I'll take it out of your hide. <gasps> no, please. Move. Move. Got a nice ass. Move. 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 You solved the trouble. Yeah. Plain and simple. And now we're back at 100 coins. And a little bit. So, you know, that's great. I think, yeah, we gotta keep going. Keep chugging along. I think we have time for about two more. We can clear all the ones in Rogueport, I think. Fast. That's the fastest way. We, we can clear all the ones in Rogueport really fast, and then I think the ones in Petalburg will be a different story. Mouse a million. What's up, folks? Mouse a million here. I need help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogueport Square in the front of the shop. Yeah, I'll take on Mouse a million's trouble. Maybe he'll play some Killer Instinct with me. Or some Ma'avel. 
if I hit him enough times and cross him up. I nah, just kidding. Max is cool. He's cool with me. And this game is has some trouble loading, but it's okay. Hopefully it doesn't, you know. Not nothing too serious. <laughs> you accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So, I want you to shock, use shock treatment to try and remember to try and remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with a hammer until I remember. But be careful. If you hit me after I remember it, I'll forget again. Okay, let's do this. Yo, use B. I just can't remember. 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 Just can't remember that doom loop. I just can't remember. I just can't remember. I just can't remember the combo. I just can't remember. I just... Nope, it's not coming to me. No, indeedy. But we can try again. Yeah, you have to do it kind of fast. So, I'm going to try it again. I remembered. See? That's it. I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop at Rogueport and sell it for a two-coin profit in Pendleburg. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll let that be your tip for a reward. Don't spend all those profits. And that's actually one of the decent ways you can um, make money in this game. All you have to do it just takes, you know, some time-consuming thing. You buy all the sleepy sheep here, and then you sell it all in Pendleburg, and, you, you know, time-consuming. But is it worth it? To a degree, yeah, if you have the time. I might do that off-screen. I don't know yet. Bomberto. I'm hungry. Uh, oh, it is Bomberto. Hey, and I need something. I need you to do some shopping. Please come right quick, because I'm starving. Meet me in Roadport out at the docks. Yeah, I'll take on Bomberto's trouble. It's alright. Okay, so we gotta go to the docks. <sighs> Let's see. I think Bombardo is right here. This is the guy. Move it, you landlubber. Oh, that's right, right. You took on me trouble, eh? My wife brought me a lunchbox, but it was empty when I opened it. I'm so hungry I could eat walrus whiskers. You've got to help me something to eat. How about, no, let's see. Ah, whatever, anything. Just so long as it's food. Now get to it. Oh, it's you. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm gonna give you a mushroom. That's 5 HP. Literally, you always get 11 coins. It does not. I don't think it matters what food you give him. You could give him something spectacular. No. You won't get nothing from it. So I wouldn't recommend it. Just give him a mushroom. We'll give you 11 coins. Basically, a little profit if you actually end, uh, ended up, you know, buying the mushroom in the first place. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna stop trouble quest right here so stay tuned for the next part and we're going to continue the, the remaining trouble quests for this first chapter